Hello Internet, and welcome to my bench. My name is Sitting Duke, and tonight I will be looking at an interesting box of parts that arrived today. It seems every man and his duck are doing unboxing videos, so I really don't want to miss out. Full disclaimer, nobody paid me to record this video. All toys shown were purchased with my own money. All opinions are my own or downloaded from the internet. And I have no idea what I'm doing. My camera is held to the sky with a woodworking clamp. So, disclaimer out of the way, let us open up the box and see what we have. So, yes, this kit is from Formlabs on AliExpress. There are no SKR because the world has run out. I do have some MCUs on order separately. I guess we can show them off when they arrive. Other than removing the SKRs, there is no customization here. This box took three days to travel from China to New Zealand. And it took 12 days to travel from placing the order to getting a tracking number. I have no idea how the focus is. Okay, we appear to have some form of docket. I'm guessing this is just packing to keep the box shut. White foam. We have a definition for the motors, which up the right way for the camera. Okada and the other side Okada. All right, we have see through sheets, two small ones for the doors. So, this is going to make me a Voron 2.4. One of the results of this video is I'm expecting to find out what parts I need to reorder, replace, etc. In no way do I expect this to be a fully functioning printer out of the box. Okay. Rails. And the ubiquitous bubble wrap. Up comes the knife. Appears to be lightly oiled. So this is traveling oil. This is not um, grease. So these will have to be re-greased. Although this one rides smoothly enough that I probably do not need to dismantle this. I can instead bring it up to the camera. Step one, degrease. Remove the existing grease. Um, then soak, rinse in something like IPA to remove the degreaser and then using a sharp needle or similar insert new grease into the bearing races and make a happy ball bearing linear rail so linear rails no lubrication holes um, no markings whatsoever one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Demonstrating the wonders of the New Zealand education system. Yes, I can count. Okay, linear rails. So we have one SD card, one Raspberry Pi, Pi 4, model B, two gigabytes. D 
yeah, it's a Pi. So obviously, 16 gigabyte card for the Pi. Okay, belts. GT2 six millimeters, 16. Six millimeters wide, 16, 1.6 meters long. Says gates, power grip. So various other people have commented there's a drawback, these belts are pre-cut. So you have to hope that the length specified was correct for your machine because you have no spare. Here are 9mm wide belts. Again they say gates on them. And these are 0.91 meters long. Okay. Zip ties, metal corners for applying the bed to the frame. We have a woven tape, harness tape at a guess. We have two other forms of tape, foam by Yong Yu, and VHB says 3M on it. We have a Length of PTFE tubing. Just like Christmas really. We have some wire. Soft and flexible. I have to see. No, wire. We have feet. Oops. Okay. Packet of microfits. Couple of different sizes, plugs and sockets, um, metal bits still on the tape, Sp um, spade lugs, and the like. Um, oh, I see insulation separate from the actual crimping part, so that'll be for the main side of life. We have a plug. Australia, New Zealand style with the insulation. So, and IEC on the other end. Seventy-five degrees, point seven five millimeter conductors. So seven or eight amps. Won't take ten amps, but the printer should not use ten amps. Okay. Magnets. The magnets have found friends already. We have 9mm um, pulleys and grub screws, all conveniently ready to get lost, so that's good. We have these ones have bearing races in them, so again, 9mm, so those will be for the idlers, and the first lit set will be for the motors. We have teeny tiny magnets, which I'll never find them again. <clears throat> um, okay, six millimeter um, gears. This time the grub screws are in the gears, so they'll get lost a little bit slower. We have a pack of JST style. Um, no assembly tape on the fiddly little, fiddly little connectors this time. Um, mother circuit board style um, sockets and cable style pin connectors two three four and five pin okay i have a heater it has a little bit of over cable for um, heat resistance and the cable itself is also somewhat heat resistant again absolutely no markings this could be 12 volt 30 watts, this could be 24 volts 50 watts, I have no idea. I'm sure the internet will tell me in the comment section. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, that says 19.2 ohms. So, whatever that translates to as a wattage, the hot end heater is unmarked 19.2 ohms. Okay. We have some shorter PTFE tubing, 
probably for the filament holder. We have a Bowden adapter and a metal rod, probably for the end stop, Z end stop. Um, no groove, no flat section. So we'll be taking that out to the shed later and rubbing it with some form of power tool or hand file. We have a thermal fuse, RH, 250 volts, 15 amps, 125 degrees Celsius. So if the labeling is correct. We have a random Zongdi. So this is an inductive probe. Um, I don't really know what to say. It's an inductive probe, it's three wires, it tells you how close it is to metal. It says 05 on it, so in theory that's 5mm off steel and head crash off aluminium. So you will require a steel bed to run that probe. We have three little micro switches. They go clicky clicky. Uh, no brand. 125 volts, 1 amp. Yeah, sure. We have a Sunon brand motor with a 2.5mm pitch header. He says 24 volts, 1.4 amps, 2 wires. We have a blower, Sunon named again. He is fairly fat. 24 volts, 1.2 watts. Not any more fans. All right, totally getting out of order now. We have three more fans. They look to be 60 millimeter, all two wire. These have a different pin connector. 24 volts, 1.8 watts. Fans, okay. Steppers, yes, these are just floating free in the world. So they seem to have survived intact. They say Big Tree Tech version 1.2, 2209s. So, drivers. Okay. Random clip for the SSR. To din mount it. We have belts, chains. Belt, chain, what is difference? So here are two, these are the, oh no, I was going to say these are the non-opening style, but no, they do appear to have some form of mechanical clippy thing. If I was a handy flathead screw driver, yeah, we'll put that down and pretend it never happened. So there's two fat belts and one fatter belt. So I guess these are, well, they're belts. They're not belts, they are cable chains, drag chains, and plastic things that I'm going to have to put back together before I'm finished. Okay. We have a BAT 85, I hope. All right, thermistor. NTC 100K B3950 comes with some gubbins looks a lot like yeah it says triangle lab on it so um, knurled nuts for standing the bed off the extrusions the continuous belts for the Z motors four of A Cat 6 Keystone. So, our friend the Raspberry Pi, being a 4B, has Wi Fi. But if you wanted to use Ethernet, you can use Ethernet. We have a large length of fairly fine. So, I'm going with silicone wire 
It says 24AWG 200 degrees C and repeats that periodically. No brand, no other claims to fame. So that's the 24 for putting in the drag chains. See, got it that time. And powering most of the hot end, which means the red wire will be the 20 AWG. It feels slightly fatter for the heater. There, missed the diode. Heater's already been moved out. Okay. We have some black. Three little black. Um, six millimeter gears. Possibly one of these is for the Z stop. I don't actually remember where the other ones go. We have about two kilograms of metal. So this will be the fastness kit. Um, there are reports with this particular vendor that this bag will be short or missing a few parts. So we'll have to sit down and evaluate later what we've actually got, if anything's missing or not. Um, so here we go, M3 washers, black. M3, M3, oh this is boring. M5, M3, and you can see these are, how can I get up, there we go, out of focus, these are covered in transport grease oil to stop them rusting on their long voyage from dither to hither. So they are highest quality. M3 hammer head T-nuts. So these are the little ones that go in, stick them in sideways, stick the screw in them, rotate them, they'll go all the way home. Wonderful little devices. And here we have the other style with a little springy ball. So these can be rolled into, where's my camera? These can be rolled into the extrusion and then they'll generally snap approximately into place so you don't have to fiddle them around. Whereas this style, if you tilt the chassis, they'll run away and you have to try and go and find them. We have M3 threaded inserts. Can I see? They do appear to have two knurls, so they shouldn't, yes. So they're a either good or close to it, and they shouldn't pull out easily. We have one millimeter thick spaces. They are shiny and yellow. Oops, I just covered over some more idlers. So jumping around a bit, these are five millimeter shaft, six millimeter wide, and they've got bearing races, so. Um, one of the other complaints with this particular vendor is how long do these particular parts last? Um, so I guess there's a couple of ways to find out. Um, since I don't own a um, scanning beam electron microscope, I guess we'll just go with assembling the printer and seeing um, what part explodes first. Such confidence. Okay, M5 T-nuts. So M5 T-nuts, M3 T-nuts. Bolts and bolts and bolts, machine screws, whatever you want to call them, all in a fetching black oxide. Okay, we have a sponge that, yes, you can see light through. So it'll do something, but it remains to be seen how much, which I think leaves. Little power supplies, each in a little cardboard box. So, what do we have here? It says, meanwhile. It has meanwhile stamped on it. 
RS25, auto mode, no 110 volt go bang switch, comes with a plastic cap, very useful, and a adjuster, obviously wire it up and adjust it before powering the Raspberry Pi with it, um, that's pretty much it. Staring at it, yeah, I see a couple of filter caps, there's a few more on the downstream, I see a choke, main switcher, there's a fair bit of epoxy in there, some caps, caps are shy, they have a little cover so I can't see them very well, don't recognize names, but, so, I can't, cast aspersions on whether this is genuine or not but it's not the worst attempt at a switch mode power supply that I've met so there is a good chance that will function as advertised now his big brother the 200 watt 24 volt power supply so again we've got meanwhile no plastic cap this time. The get me right switch is actually set for on the camera 230, so that's nice. I will not pop it immediately. Yeah, okay, sorry, my apologies. I'm reading the circuit backwards. Live comes in. Um, filter here, fuse. Um, Switches, bulk capacitance on the 300 odd volt DC side. Small switcher, so that's probably to power the actual switch mode chip, who is must be on the other side of the board, probably in this area. Um, we're using two sides of the case as our heatsink. Um, there's the main switcher. This is the DC side, and it's DC capacitors that aren't all populated. All right. So here we go, this is a 200 watt, 24 volt power supply, again slightly adjustable, just to make sure it gives you exactly what you want, and that leaves us with one little box, says mini, 128, ah, oh, he's got a ducky, ducky does not squeak. Hello, hello duck, hello duck. All right. So, on side, this is from Big Tree Tech. Bit of foam to protect it, EXP1 and EXP2. Rotary encoder goes clicky. And that's the display. So as I stated earlier, I knew there's no SKRs in this kit because there's not many SKRs in the world and mine are somewhere on a boat. All right, so that's this layer. Okay, five Dino, approximately in the middle, thermistor and bed, 220 volts, 300 watts, adhesive says 3M468MP, 200 MP adhesive. Okay. Plate shiny and yellow on one side and flat and yellow ish on the other. Some of these fingerprints are me, but some of them came from the factory. <laughs> flicky, flicky, <laughs> flicky, flicky. Okay. Um, adhesive sheet is 3M 
300 LSE. So that is our flex steel sheet and our bed heater. Foam packing, more foam packing. Okay, one sheet of aluminium. Open. So, no claims about how well machined it was. Um, it was not checked by number 17. Okay, we are aluminium. We are scuffed. We are machined in four places on this side. And two additional holes here. Look to be M5 or thereabouts. So marks, scuff marks, scrape marks. So I had to guess this is the top. Does not show any grand signs of milling. This end does. It's got some beautiful chatter. Yep. Um, I don't actually have a straight edge. Huh, should have thought of that. Alright, so I don't have anything um, straight that I can place against it to see how flat it is when cold. So I will apologise for that. Okay, so I have some hobbed gears, a white plastic nylon probably, gear with a flat on a shaft, some little teeny tiny bearings. So we're going to call you um, the BMG extruder set. We have a um, classic style. Where are you? The, so, the heat sock, nozzle, um, space for a heater cartridge, um, the spinny thing that means you'll never clamp it down properly. Yeah, it's a hot end. So, I quite possibly will not be using that hot end. I think I have a better one around here somewhere. Alright, you say F695 bearings, flanged. Comes in a little packet. Out you come. Alright, sealed on both sides. Spins. It's, it spins easy enough. Um, it's not silky smooth. Six ninety five F S six ninety five. Oh, RS, my bad. Six ninety five RS. Flanged bearings at a guess. 625 bearings. Larger diameter, no flange. Six twenty-five RS. Six twenty-five RS, alright. And Yep, he spins. He's not silky smooth, but well I mean he's not sandpaper, he's just I think the word is preload. Okay. We have DIN rails, we have extrusions. Extrusions have what appears to be cutting fluid on them. We have drills and taps, some burrs. Not need to rub these with a file. So these were 
um, cut to length after they were anodized. So according to the internet, that seems to be largely random, whether they're cut and then anodized or anodized and then cut. And uh, they're approximately the same length. It's hard to tell because of course I'm just resting them on more um, length of extrusion. So we are 2020s. Here is an extrusion. Here is an M5. Actually, I should pick one of the ones that hasn't been cross drilled because that's going to interfere with the result. Here is an extrusion that has been drilled. Here's an M5. How do I tell where the tapping stops? There. Let's do this again. She I could see where. Yep, that's about where it's bound. So we can do it this way. So there is 12.8 millimeters of screw exposed. There is a free screw. Everybody has a loose screw. Ducks are not immune. It is 24.9 millimeters long. Um, and there was 12.8 millimeters free, 24.8 now. So that's 12.0 millimeters of thread on an M5 bolt. Okay, second question is, boink. Second question is, is the battery going on my calipers? Yes. Not only are they shy, they need a new battery. Okay. 6 6.17. 6.17. 6.0. Oh. Six point two. All right, so I think we will say these are six millimeter deep grooves. With it is six millimeters deep, not six point five millimeters deep. So if that matters, that is what we have. The the cutting fluid is somewhat unpleasant. We might have to rinse the extrusions in something to clear that off. Wanky wanky. It is 8.15 millimeters. Eight point, actually it's ridiculous to quote more than that, so 8.1 Point one, a friendly single fused power switch. We have an 80 tooth gear with two set screws, five millimeter shaft, nine millimeters wide, there's four of those. And we have a bunch of motors. So we get a pancake for the extruder. Nice, smooth. It is a D shaft, it is not circular. Alkida. <sighs> okay, got some wires, four pin plugs, JST style 
D shaft, a bit more stubborn than the other. Um, 2020, 0, 0.4.10, 0, 0.2.21, 0.3.10, 0.2. So my pancake is probably from early March, whereas this motor appears to be time stamped several days before I bought the kit. Um, 17HS19-2004S1. Same, 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 same. So we have six motors for um, ZZ um, and two motors for AB and they are the same. You are a solid state relay. You claim 25 amps. So the first thing to note with solid state relays um, of any name, brand or um, nationality is that amperage rating is if this is connected to a heatsink. And not just a DIN rail, but a fairly substantial heatsink. So if it's in free air, um, half or quarter that value. So this with on just the DIN rail, I would be surprised if it would tolerate 12 amps and it may be happy with eight. So um, above and beyond that, the other issue is this is a 240 volt component. If it fails, um, it will probably fail short, which means it will pass current, which is why we have the thermal fuse. Um, and there have been problems in the past with disreputable supply chains and with counterfeits, um, parts sneaking into reputable supply chains. A couple of the larger name um, electronic suppliers in, in um, Europe have been caught out before by some parts that fell off the back of a truck, too good to be true, and they are something other than an SSR inside. So, grain of salt, um, someone's reputation's on the line, this is probably a genuine legitimate part. I will almost certainly not run it at 25 amps. I am inclined to take it apart and see what is inside it, because in a cardboard box to my right, I have an Omran, Omron brand SSR that I purchased from a reputable supply chain and that I trust much more to not burn down my house. So, um, I think I've gone around the circle there and said, odds are this is legitimate, odds are this will not start a house fire, but at the end of the day, 240 volts will not respect you. It's really up to you to decide your own um, level of how happy you are with um, 240 volt rated mains. Okay, so this layer, oh, this might actually be the bottom of the kit. Have I really discussed everything in only 44 minutes? Duck is practicing counting. All right, um, so I think that is pretty much us. So there's no real surprises here. Okay, so there we have it. Um, these 50 minutes of I bought a box from the internet they shipped it to me in not bad time um, and it was a box full of things um, clearly I'm going to have to replace some of these things in order to make a working printer um, but all in all there's nothing disastrous here so I like to say thank you for watching through this far. Um, yeah, it's what? It's words and places with people. And 
that's all I have for this video, so thank you and good night.